Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I have a treat for you. I'm interviewing Carl Broadbent. Carl is a full-time blogger. Today we're gonna get to hear more of his story and how he was able to get there. There's some specific things that lead to that level of success and in this video, Carl is sharing those things with us. So without any further ado, let's dive into the interview. Hey Carl, welcome um, to the Income School YouTube channel. Well, I should say welcome back. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a few years now since we've last spoken in person. So yes, yeah, good to be back on the channel. Love to talk a little bit about and have a conversation about um, some of those things that have occurred over the last three years and the success you've achieved um, going full time. It's There's a lot of stuff involved um, in that question, but um, why don't you just go ahead and walk us through those things that have happened over the last uh, few years and how you were able to achieve that full-time income. Yeah, sure. Well, when I won the competition and um, you and Jim came over to my house in the UK, I was flirting with websites and online income. I was just starting out. I've been doing it on and off for about a year uh, and wondering whether it was possible to make a full-time income. And then when I won the competition, I, you know, I truly believe that sometimes things happen in our lives that just, you know, send you on a, the right path. And I think two things happened for me. Number one was I won the competition um, from Income School, and number two, I fell in with the right crowd on YouTube. Really, I, you know, the right videos were popping up in my feed, and I wasn't getting all these, you know, get rich quick scheme videos. You know, so I think those two things set me off on the right track. And um, yeah, when you came to my house, I already had a couple of websites. Both were doing reasonably well. I mean, when I look back, I watched the video back today, actually, it was really nice to reminisce and see how far I've come. And yeah, I had a couple of websites doing around 10,000 page views each. And um, with your guidance then, I kind of narrowed down and focused on one and then grew that website uh, after you left um, to around so put about 70, 80,000 page views. And I ran that for about another year. And then I sold that, I exited that site uh, and I sold it for five figures and uh, did a really nice, uh, made a really nice profit out of it. So yeah, and then from there, I've continued to build new websites, uh, grow and learn and hopefully um, build bigger and better websites. And my portfolio has grown and it led me to YouTube. So I'm now even on YouTube, kind of just documenting my journey more than anything, mm -hmm. rather than try to teach and coach people i'm just really documenting my journey what it's like to be a full-time you know blogger or somebody making online income it's neat to see those videos and see um i mean you share income reports you show um, status updates share some of the things that you've kind of um, again not less of the tutorial but kind of showing some of the things you discover along the way uh, it's really neat to get to kind of watch that from um, from afar <laughs> what was the kind of the thing that's that put you over the edge to being able to become that full-time blogger i think it literally was uh, you coming to my house and, and giving me the guidance and it, and it honestly wasn't and i'm not you know trying to you know make you guys look good but it was because it did two things really what it did is number one it proved to myself and my wife that it was a full-time business because at that time my wife thought what is he doing on the internet every night? I don't know what he's doing. He says he's building a website, you know, but you guys came over and you proved that, look, it's possible. Here's some numbers. Here's some website examples. He can make a full-time living out of this. So I think that was the first thing to show me that it is a real business. Mm -hmm. I think then secondly, it was basically the guidance that you gave me for making a website. I was very kind of throwing mud at the wall and hoping something would stick method. And some things did stick uh, mm -hmm. and I was doing okay. Yeah. But as you said recently, you said, you know, if I continue on that route, I could be successful, but I'm really delaying that success because I'm, I'm hoping and relying on a lot of luck rather than kind of a strategy or a plan. When you left, you gave me a plan. You said, right, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to focus on this website and these keywords and topics. And that's what I did. And, and it, it proved absolutely 100% correct. It got that website to a good place, like I said, to the point where I could sell it. And uh, I did really well from it. So yeah, I think those are the two things that actually convinced me, kind of this is real and I could do this full time. So having that, the vision of what it really is probably going to become or, or could become, becomes really important. Because without that, we give up, and, and I think uh, you also mentioned the the uh, the support once you once your wife was able to see 
this is this is a real thing. People actually do this. Yeah, and that, that shouldn't be underestimated because obviously, you know, you're, you're investing time, you, sometimes money, you know, you, you're forfeiting some things. You know, I would, I stop myself going out sometimes on a weekend because I just wanted to write blog posts because I was working that full-time job. Right. I was getting up at 5 a.m. I was writing for an hour before work. I was going to work at half past six, getting back at half past six at night, having tea with the family, then writing blog posts again. So... I was sacrificing a lot and I, I had to convince the wife or you, you guys helped me convince the wife that, you know, he's doing it for a reason. It's not very random. It, it is, it can work. And without doing that, we'll never know if it works. So uh, I think without that support from, from my wife that she gave me, yeah, I, I you know, I could have easily just, you know, stopped it after, you know, a, a couple of years of trying and getting a little bit of success. You know, like you say, you had a good job, you were successful, you weren't struggling for income. I guess why do it? What, you know, what was the sort of the dream and what was the motivation behind, um, ch you know, changing from a, a full-time, uh, you know, corporate manager to a blogger? I think the reason I wanted to do it was I, I did want to have a better quality of life. I wanted more time with my family, which seems crazy to say, because for two years, I didn't have a lot of that. It was a lot of time writing and putting effort into the website. But I knew with my corporate job, the only way to get that extra income and that better life would be to work harder. You know, instead of putting in 50 hours a week, I'll be putting in 60 and 70 hours a week and you never get away from that phone and you're always in meetings, you're constantly answering emails. And I was always under pressure to answer to somebody really. And, you know, my income would have gone up, but not drastically. Uh, you know, I could have gone up from a couple of thousand dollars. Yet maybe if I worked really, really hard in my corporate job, I might have gone to $3,000. But, you know, that's a lot of is and a lot of hard work to get there. And I just thought this business is the kind of business that rewards you for your effort. So I knew the more effort I put in, the more financial return I should get. And, and, and that's how it's worked out. And it, it literally couldn't have worked out any better. My, my boss now from my corporate job still asks me regularly, how's it doing? How's your website doing? And when I tell him how much I'm making, he's absolutely blown away. And he's like, I, I never believed it. I didn't think it could happen. So when you know what you're doing is actually leading in the right direction, then the effort you put in is very, is directly proportional to the reward. One thing I want to, I guess I should point out to those who are seeing this as a, um, you know, put in the hard work now, but then we have this rosy, perfect future. There are some things that fall outside of our control as bloggers. Obviously, um, you know, Google's updates, um, uh, affiliate commissions that we don't control how much they are um, and they can change. How much impact has, have those sorts of things had on on your business Do, you know does a google update come out and all of a sudden you say well darn it my income was cut in half or is it something that it's just kind of part of the journey and we live with it <laughs> it, it is 100 percent part of the journey and basically one thing i've learned is you can't take it personally I, a lot of people take you know google core updates personally when the site gets hit and it could be something that they've not actually done wrong uh, it could be something's uh, happened in the update that you wasn't even aware of. I have had one website. I've had a few websites hit. I mean, two I'll, I'll talk about. One I've had that was absolutely growing sky high. Got to about 150,000 page views within about a year, doing incredible, and then got hit and dropped down to about 40,000 page views. And then just continued to stagnate a little bit for about another year since. I've shown that website to lots of experienced you know, online publishers, and nobody can figure out what's wrong with it. Everybody looks at it and goes, I see nothing wrong with it. It's great original content. It's good keyword research. It's just got hit by something. There's no manual penalties or anything. So I took right. that really personal. I was like, what have I, I've done something wrong. And I just couldn't understand it. But I've gone on then to have successful websites. After that, using the same practices and the same principles, and then I launched another site, which I had a, a website case study on my YouTube channel, and I was going to call it the mega website. I was going to in, invest a lot of money into content and build it really quick, and it was going to be the biggest site I've ever had. And a year later, it has not took, took off at all. It has been an absolute flop. And, and again, can't understand why the domain looked okay, the content's great, just Google is not showing it any love. It just will not index the pages. 
and it will not rank the content. So there are failures and I've certainly had my share of them and I'm, I document them, the failures and the successes on my channel. Um, but I don't take it, I don't take it personal anymore. It's just, if it's not working, you know, there's no point continuing to try and, you know, bring something to life that just does not want to, to work. And I just move on. I let it sit and I will move on. And if all of a sudden I go back into the analytics six months later and it's showing some life, then I might revisit it. But I used to yeah. take it very, very personally in the beginning. You've uh, been able to leave that corporate world and, and focus on this and have time to focus on your family. Um, and so since then, you've obviously taken to YouTube. You mentioned that, that you're documenting your journey and helping other people to see kind of what that is like. But um, also, this last year you've been working on something pretty, pretty big. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I've been uh, planning and arranging to put on an event here in the UK called the Affiliate, Affiliate Gathering Expo. Uh, it's on Friday the 20th of May here in the UK. Uh, and this is, it's, it's kind of a conference expo, you could call it. I like calling it an expo rather than a conference because conference always sounds very stuffy and very deep and <laughs> businessy. Uh, and basically it's a, a gathering of people that do what we do. YouTubers, bloggers, online publishers. And it all came about where through COVID, through lockdown, I was talking with a few people, usually online. And we're just saying how hard it has been for the last couple of years um, to really connect with people. A lot of people have lost their social life and they've stopped going out and connecting with others. And it's been really, really hard. And I think a lot of people have suffered physically and mentally with just locking themselves away uh, yeah. and not actually reaching out to people and making those contacts and connections. And, you know, like we're saying off air, we're saying how very secretive sometimes this world can be. And, you know, there's not, it's not everybody, not everybody out there is a bad person that wants to steal your keywords and steal your niches. You know, there are a lot <laughs> right. of people out there really just want to help each other and grow together and make a, make a success of it. So I was talking to a few bloggers and YouTubers and we'll say, why don't we just get together? And it was like, yeah, that's, that's great. And one of the, the wives of the bloggers was there. And she was saying, you two, whenever you get together, you just chatter for hours and hours and hours. Are all bloggers like that? And I was like, yeah, you put two bloggers in a room <laughs> and all they will talk about is niche websites and keywords. And that's all you'll get out of them. And she happens to be an events manager. She runs a really large event here in the UK. It's a, a women's business event. And uh, she says, why don't you put something on? And I was like, never done anything like that. She was like, well, let's think about this. So we started to plan the event and it was going to be 30 or 40 people attending a, a small gathering. And it's just grown and grown and grown. More people got interested. More people said, I'd like to come and speak like yourself. I'm so grateful that you're flying over to speak. And I thought this is going really well. So it's grown into yeah a really big event now that's happening. So I am super excited about it. It's the first event I've put on. But like I say, there is a, a strong team behind us. We have an experienced mm -hmm. events company. All the tickets are sold through a global ticketing company. Uh, so it's, it's going to be, fingers crossed, a fantastic day. I'm so excited about it. There's, what, two options you can attend in person or for, for those who are you know, still concerned about travel restrictions because I don't know what travel, I don't even know right now um, if I if there are any hoops I'm gonna have to jump through <laughs> um, traveling. But for those who are concerned about that, there's a virtual option too, right? Yeah, so the virtual ticket you can watch, it will be streamed live. We have a professional film company coming in. We've got cameras all over the venue. So it won't just be a camera pointing at the stage. We've got mm -hmm. workshops going on, they will be filmed. We've got presentations. There'll be conversations in the corridors because that's often at these events where you know, kind of the magic happens. It's often those connections you make in the corridors and the business card swapping. That's that's what I wanted to put this event for. I wanted to get people to talk to like-minded people, make them contacts, contacts, get them email addresses, uh, mm -hmm. and, and you know reach out to people then if you're struggling or or share your successes. So all that will be filmed and and with the live ticket. We obviously know there's obviously a time delay. So if you're, you know, say in the US, so there will be an edited version afterwards. So if you don't get to watch the entire stream, don't worry, you've not missed it. You will, because mm -hmm. you've purchased a ticket, you will get an edited copy after the event. So that might be a couple of hour video, but you'll get to see everything, all the workshops, all the presentations 
will be in a downloadable copy as well. And that's both if you attend in person and you buy the online ticket, you'll still get that downloadable copy. I think it's really valuable for us to to get together and work together and collaborate. I We did talk a little bit before this off air about that and how lonely, like you said, it can be um, as bloggers because we, we we often get kind of cagey about um, our you know our keywords and even what our site is because we don't want people just copying our content and because most of the people that we know in our real life um, don't don't do this and don't understand it um, <laughs> I hear that a lot and how nice it is when um, you can be part of a community Carl I appreciate you putting this on um, and inviting me to come participate um, I will be there we're gonna be there in the UK in York um, we get to go back and see that um, really neat city I, I have to say, coming from the United States, you know, there aren't very many structures in the United States over about 200 years old. Um, it's, it's not the same <laughs> over there. And so if you like history or anything like that, it's a really, really neat um, the town. I, I just, I loved it there last time. And I hope to be able to spend a little bit more time there. It's beautiful, surrounded by the castle all the way around. I'm currently watching uh, the TV series, The Vikings, and I'm right at the episode where they're showing York, where the Vikings capture York. And it does obviously look nothing like it now, but the castle wall that, you, that all goes around the uh, the whole city is amazing. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. The venue is incredible. It is a superb facility that we've got. It's attached to the railway station, so travel is so easy. And the facilities we've got there for drinks and the bar area and relaxing areas are just you know first class so and i hope people who do attend actually go out of their comfort zone and you know come up and say hi you know you know shake people's hands you know swap email addresses and you know i do think it's mm -hmm. a chance for people to really make some like you say some lifelong contacts over the last few years you know i've got you as a contact i've got so many people you know as a contact now and i talk to them now daily even if it's just a message Hey, you're finding mm -hmm. this for your site or, or even just sharing successes and sharing screenshots of your analytics. It's, it's great to communicate. So yeah, it is going to be one of these events where you will certainly um, be able to make some contacts. Well, Carl, um, any uh, parting like words of wisdom that you'd like to share with this channel? Things that I, I, there are a lot of people who watch who they haven't seen real success yet. And, you know, they, they want to believe. So what, uh, what would you say to those people? I would say what I always say, it, it, it is a process. This is a tried and tested process. We are not reinventing the wheel. This, this works. And yes, there are different ways you can go about it. There are methods that work better than others, but generally the concept does work and it is possible to do it full time. Like I say, here I am. Last year was my first year full time. You know, and I've gone from a thirty, forty thousand dollars salary last year. My income report for December was one hundred and fifty thousand. So it is possible, and you know, just believe in the process. It takes time. It's not get rich quick scheme at all. It definitely, definitely isn't. <laughs> There's a lot of hard work, and in fact, many bloggers will say they work harder at this job than they did in the corporate job. <laughs> but uh, it is far more rewarding, that's for sure. Well, Carl, thank you for your time. Thanks for for joining us here on the channel today. I hope to have many more opportunities to to um, chat with you, and obviously, you'll see you in a couple of months <laughs> when I come uh, to speak there. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. I hope those of you who uh, can. Um, will join us, even if you can only do it virtually because I think it's going to be a terrific event. Well, I really enjoyed that interview. There are a few really good takeaways that I want to make sure to highlight. The first one is that people are achieving this every single day. And so you can know confidently that this is a process that works as long as you put in the effort and as long as you have a plan. And that's number two. Carl talked about that. Once he had a plan, he was able to move forward with confidence knowing that it was going to achieve his desired outcome. And then the last point is just to know that this is not an overnight get rich quick sort of a scheme. This is the type of business that is going to be able to give you great long-term, um, fairly passive income. It can give you that financial and time flexibility that so many people want, but it's something where you do have to put in the work now in order to be able to achieve those results for the long term. So I really appreciate Carl coming on the channel and I hope that you were able to get some really good nuggets out of that interview just like I did. Thanks and we'll see you next time.